This is Africa. In the vibrant tapestry of Nigerian music, Sheo Kuti emerges not just as a musician, but as the torchbearer of a legacy that pulsates with the rhythm of rebellion and the beat of Afrobeat. Born on this day, January 11th, 1983, Sheo Kuti is more than a skion of musical royalty. He is a maestro conducting an orchestra of defiance and cultural resurgence. Sheon's musical journey commenced at the tender age of five, a symphony sparked by the rich melodies that reverberated within the walls of his home. By the age of nine, he wasn't just playing with toys, but with Fela Kuti's legendary band, Egypt 80. The rhythm of his heartbeat synchronized with the drum beats of Afrobeat, setting the stage for a prodigious accent. The turning point struck in 1997, when the patriarch of Afrobeat, Felakuti, departed this mortal realm. In the wake of this seismic loss, Sheo Kuti, a mere 14 years old, stepped into the spotlight wielding the legacy of his father like a musical heirloom. Egypt 80 wasn't just a band, it was a continuum of a musical odyssey that transcended generations. In 2008, the world witnessed the metamorphosis of Shemu Kuti's musical odyssey. The album, Many Things, marked the inception of a new era bearing the emblem Sheon Kuti and Egypt 80, a fusion of tradition and rebellion. The album echoed the spirit of Afrobeat pulsating with the heartbeat of a new generation. Sheon, like a musical alchemist, transformed notes into a potent elixir that resonated with the beats of liberation. The global stage became his playground. Sheon's unmistakable presence echoed in unexpected realms, featuring prominently in Carl XIII's Todo Se Mueve from the 2010 album Antren Los Que Quiran. This collaboration showcased the transcendence of Afrobeat, transcending borders and languages to become a universal anthem of rhythm and resistance. Shokuti's cadence extends beyond the musical realms. It reverberates through the corridors of activism. In 2012, he was not a passive spectator, but an active participant in the Occupy Nigeria protest, a crescendo of dissent against President Goodluck Jonathan's fuel subsidy removal policy. Sheokuti's rhythm was not confined to beats. It was a pulse of political awakening. Unveiling a layer of his personal beliefs, Sheo Kuti proudly identifies as an atheist, a free thinker, navigating the confluence of tradition and modernity. His atheism, much like his music, defies boundaries, questioning norms and seeking its own unique melody. Sheo Kuti in 2019 lent his voice to Jidena's 85 to Africa album, not merely as a musician, but as a visionary. His outro spoke to an African people's powered highway, a global conduit connecting the diaspora and the motherland. In these words, Sheung encapsulated a dream, a highway of rediscovery and unity for black people worldwide, rooted in the common thread of African heritage. In November, 2020, witnessed a resounding note in the annals of Nigerian politics Sheo Kuti, with a melody of political revival, led the resurgence of his father's defunct political party, 
the movement of the people. A revival, not merely in name, but in spirit, aiming to register it with Nigeria's electoral body, INEC. In this political overture, Shokuti orchestrated a symphony of activism, breathing new life into a movement that echoed with the cadence of his father's ideals. In the fall of 2023, Sheo Kuti added his voice to a global chorus of resistance, signing the open letter of artists against apartheid. He stood in solidarity with Palestinians, a musical maestro, using his influence to amplify the cries of the oppressed. Amidst the crescendo of activism and the symphony of beats, Sheo Kuti found personal harmony, welcoming his daughter, Ifafun Mike Adara and Nikolakbo Kuti into the world on December 16th, 2013, he embraced the role of a father while carrying forward the weight of a legacy. In the annals of music's highest honor, Sheo Kuti's album, Black Times, stood nominated for the Grammys in 2018 in the world music category. The recognition wasn't just a nod to an artist's prowess, but a salute to Afrobeat's enduring legacy. Sheo Kuti, the torchbearer, stood on the precipice of victory. The echoes of his father's rhythms resonating through the hallowed halls of the Grammys. In the ceaseless melody of Sheo Kuti's life, the notes continue to unfold, each stanza adding to the opus of Afrobeat's legacy. From the beats of childhood innocence to the crescendo of political activism, Sheo Kuti has woven a tapestry that transcends music. It's a cultural movement, a political resurgence, and a familiar legacy. As the symphony of Sheo Kuti and Egypt 80 reverberates through time, one thing becomes clear. This is not just a musical odyssey, it's a rhythm of resistance, a beat of unity, and an ongoing overture that echoes the enduring spirit of Afrobeat. Sheo Kuti, a maestro in the truest sense, orchestrates a musical revolution that transcends genres and captivates the soul, a rhythm that refuses to be confined a melody that lingers in the hearts of those who dare to listen. <laughs>